We have 1,350 acres of mostly woods, except for where the cows are. 1,200 acres of trees. It's all gravity fed. We don't have any power out here. We started around 2010. We went to the extension office in Butler County for a woodlands training course. And they talked about what to do with your woods besides cut them down. And one of them, the things they said was make maple syrup. And so uh, we just did a few trees the first year. And the second year we got up to about a dozen trees. And then my husband said, let's get an evaporator. And that's when we did all of this with all of these lines. This area here on our farm is almost exclusively sugar maple. We have red maples too, but the red maples tend to get their buds earlier. And so if they get their buds early, you have to stop getting sap from them because you will have substandard syrup. They call it buddy syrup and it tastes bad. We've had probably 30 groups of people come through today, which has been a nice day. We started looking at the, the reverse osmosis because that can remove um, a large portion of the water before we even cook it. And it, so it saves time, it saves uh, on firewood, and I can get it done a lot faster. And it does not change the quality or the flavor. I do enjoy going out to Ag Day and teaching out there and telling the kids how to do it and showing people, you can do this on your own. And, it, and that's the one thing I tell them, when you make maple syrup, there's two steps. Get the sap out of the tree and cook it. It's turned out to be a fun thing to do. Um, my grandson, when he was two, learned how to use a drill. These are the bags. They hang on the same spiles as everything else, but they're disposable. So you just have to, there are special bags made for syrup, and then it has a holder with a hole in it. And these holders then, you just slide this on, which holds the bag in place. And the hole in the back hangs on the spile on the tree. And then the spile will be hit mid bag and it drips right in the bag. The end of the year, I can dispose of the bags. You don't save them. They're very cost effective and you don't have to stack them up and store them for a year. And so to have something that's pure and real and local is uh, something new. And, They'll come by the farmer's market and see me and they'll say, oh, it's the syrup lady. So I guess I need a shirt that says I'm the syrup lady. There you go. Because you're so sweet. Exactly. That's <laughs> what I would think. <laughs>